Alright, I should be live now. Let me make sure I'm live on everything. Cool, cool. It says I'm live, it says everything's good. Alright. Hello, guys. This is What About Nintendo today. I'm here for another Pokemon Direct Reaction. Pretty action, that's not right. I don't know why I was gonna say predictions. I don't know why I started like a video, anyways. But yeah, I'm here. Guys, we're live. Oh, Pokemon, it's gonna start soon. I'm gonna join the call with my boy Andre's restart, and we're gonna be reacting together. It's gonna be great. How's everyone doing? We're gonna get the audio all set up, make sure everything's going good here. But hi, hello, good morning. It's early, so the intro kinda sucks, but I'm starting the call. I can't actually hear anything. Too smart, are they? Is my other set through? Oh my gosh, the chat is flying on there. I can't hear it ring. You guys can't hear it either. I don't know why it's not making any noise. The ring, but that's fine. As long as it's actually, you know, calling the man. He didn't, he didn't pick up. He, he, no, he didn't pick up. He didn't pick up, guys. It's a tragedy. Why, why didn't he pick up? I don't know, but anyways, how is everyone in the chat doing? Let me actually get some music going so it's not so boring while we wait for this to start. Guys, sorry, accidentally. Enabled something in the background. Let me, let me go to, to my watch later. Let me scroll down to some. No, that's not what I want to do. Over here. Good grammar and spelling are important. Stupid but ad. Nobody loves you and your dumbness and your pathetic dumbness. I don't know. <laughs> Anywho, there we go. It's a little loud for me, but hey there, buddy. How there you me? are. Yeah, you know I didn't hear the the call on Discord. I was talking. About yeah, the it was fire. um, some reason the call was complete. The ring was completely silent for me too. Yeah, it's always silent. Maybe there's a setting we can set up. But guys, in my chat, could you please let me know if Brandon's too loud or quiet? This is how I plan for him to sound throughout most of the thingy majiggy. I may have to lower him a little bit when we get into the actual direct. We will see. Uh, but, you know, um, mm -hmm. this is happening. This is happening. In fact, I probably will just automatically lower you, like, 50% once the direct is about to start. Gotcha. But, uh, I've put you down to... Leaks, we're not, I'm not talking about the leaks on, on, the, on the, the chat, by the way. I, just, I went over all of my predictions that I've been talking about for over the past year, right? That's all I did, but did you hear about the leaks? Uh, no. I didn't hear about oh, any leaks, leaks, actually. There were leaks yesterday. Ooh. We'll see if they're true real soon. I so swear, I follow like a million news sites and none of them. Maybe I. Well, I haven't been keeping up with Twitter over the past, you know, well, here's few the thing. hours because I've been gotta, asleep. You, you gotta follow the leakers. Or you gotta follow the leaker community. Like, um. Uh, oh, you know what, what I can talk about right now? It's not Pokemon related, though. Um. One of the leakers has said Pikmin. XCOM, Tomb Raider, Banjo, Metroid. Did I say Pikmin already? Uh, th those names came up um, for E3. Okay. Banjo, yeah. Pikmin, and what was the other one? Metroid. Metroid. Gotcha. Also, Tomb Raider, XCOM. Tomb Raider. Couple other those are a lot of names. You, you spat out a lot of names, and I was also like reading part of my chat, so I was like half listening to what you were saying. Yeah. So. Yeah. I have a bad habit of half listening to what people are saying. Yeah, yeah. It's a thing I like to do, apparently. Oh my god, this is happening really soon. Yeah, how many minutes? We got six minutes! Can I get the six minutes in the chat? Yeah, six minutes. Also, I, I don't... I had a button to, like, mute, but I forget which one, which one it was. So that I can, uh... What the hell button is insert? Oh, wow, well, there is an actual insert button. That's funny. <laughs> this is happening. Let me, let me test this mute button so I can talk to the chat and not bother you all you guys in the other chat. So let me test this. 
So I'm going to talk. I'm just going to say sound continuously, and if I cut out, then it works. Uh, did that work? Like, did it cut out a few times? I heard times? a little bit of interruption, but that was really short. All right, let me... Uh, yeah, it sounds like it's working. All right, cool. Hello, um, Robeer. Let's go, Lazy James. What up? If you guys How want you to doing? see on Nintendo's face, you're gonna have to go to his stream. We're just on a Discord call. Yeah, we're just on a call, guys. So, yeah. my beautiful yeah. face, this beautiful baby boy, you're gonna have to come over to my chat, my my stream. You guys should have both streams open, anyways. If you're if you're watching, <laughs> what are you doing? If you don't have both streams open, getting us both dem delicious views. Darcy saying, just let this gem be better than six and seven. I liked both, but nowhere near as much as previous gens. I wouldn't know. Um, <laughs> well, I would say my favorite gens are 1, 2, and 4. Okay. Uh, I always I hear like people them. rag on 4, actually. I don't well, know why. that's because opinions, bro. Yeah. yeah. I watched... Uh, that's actually the first Pokemon I ever watched a playthrough of. Because um, I watched Chuck Conroy play through, uh, I think, the Diamond version of that. Yeah. So that was pretty cool. I, th I thought it was pretty neat. I thought the story was pretty interesting. I just think those games hit me harder because of nostalgia. Really. Probably. Um, I, I I like every gen to be honest. I see you, Bidoof. I, I really Thanks for dropping by. Gen. I do, for whatever reason, I didn't really sure play the replay, game boy. for Generation 5, which I know is kind of weird because supposedly Generation 5 has like, the, has like the best story of all the Pokemon games. and I for Yeah, that's reason, black and white, really right? get into it. Um, it's like, black and white. Black and white I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get Pokemon to play competitive battling. Like, I didn't care about the story at all, which is unfortunate, I guess. Oof. Yeah, I'm hoping this game's gonna be like the best Pokemon game ever. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I think it can be. It has. It's the biggest stage. It probably has the largest budget yet. Everyone it's probably, slammed that like know, button. It's on the most powerful system on yet. Both uh, most capable system. Me and Andre's it, it, streams. It has these advantages that would suggest that it kind of has to be the best Pokemon game. You know right. what I mean? Like, it has it the potential. The Pokemon game. Best technology. You know, the, the, it's the hugest jump. Largest budget. Like, these are things that would suggest that it would right. be, right? Also, I would say that because they made Let's Go, it affords them the option to go more in the traditional more core centric pokemon fan base right, direction, right? Exactly. So, so it's less mainstreamy less casually more pokemon hardcore hey fan shane what up right? just so streaming I'm the reactions with my boy that this pokemon game will be the biggest bestest pokemon game yet yeah is that me overhyping things i don't think so i think that should be the expectation is the most modern pokemon game right like it's right. kind of like every zelda game should be the best zelda game now granted people have opinions and the way the game is structured and paced that's all people are always going to have different opinions on that right like i would say the wind waker overall is a complete piece is still probably a, a better game than skyward sword of twilight princess even though yeah i would I mean, definitely agree with speaking, that they are more advanced right and there are people who won't like breath of the wild as much mainly because it doesn't have as much temples and things of that nature like some people won't yeah. like for that reason and the you know? story is not that great or well the way they present the story is not that good that's how i would word it because i do think there's a good story in mm -hmm. there. i just think the present well the story is awesome and the way the trailers did it was great it's just the way they actually presented it in games it's it's terrible dude can we get a two minutes in the chat guys can oh, we get a we two minutes in the we chat got... i'm not a two close, and a half minute boy. mark here oh my goodness oh my goodness I'm gonna turn my music off when it turns into one minute. So Darcy saying, yeah, I see them too. Ragged on four because of Diamond and Pearl speed. I think that's what I heard. Happy with it. Yeah, the speed. I the speed is a common complaint for for Generation Four. I had a lot of time in my hands back then, so I was I was good with Generation Four. That didn't bother me. Yeah, that's how I feel about all games that I played when I was younger. It's like it didn't matter how much grinding or how slow it was or. Like, all the Zeldas that have really long intros, I didn't care back in the day. I actually thought it was cool. I was like, oh, I get to see all the characters and go talk to literally every person in the entire place and do yeah. stuff. It was just like, I thought it was fun. And nowadays, I'm like, hurry up and get to the, the story, the action. Stop dildaddling. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know what you mean, man. It's just we're, we're all about instant gratification now. Yeah, Always. for real. 
kind of sucks. Oh, one minute. I gotta turn the music one off. One minute, old man. We're real close. Royal, bro. What's up, man? Turn How you doing, buddy? Off. That's not the what right one. What is good? There you go. Turn this Computer off. robots, I, I, I will be busy during E3, but that's because I'll be busy with E3. So don't worry. <laughs> right. There, there will be that. For real. Darcy saying, plus in regards to the budget, I wonder how much of that juicy Pokemon Go money has gone to them. I mean, I'm sure not anti God's cut, but sure the Pokemon Company still got heaps of money from it. Yeah, Pokemon Company's huge. Like, they definitely have the funds to make a big Pokemon game. Now, we've already kind of seen somewhat of the scope of this, so it's not like... We, we, we've been over this. It's kind of been be we've been a dead horse here. This isn't like Breath of the Wild tier. Like, I don't think. Not really. But it's going to be like the biggest jump for Pokemon ever, which is still huge. Right? So, obviously, I'm excited. Roll beer. I am very hyped as well. Okay, we are at the 8.59 mark, 8.59 minute mark. So, I am now going to pause the background music. Mm -hmm. Right? Brand Remember, everybody in, in both our chats, if the audio's ever, if anything's too loud, anything's too quiet, let us know. Because oh, we can fix okay. it really quickly. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, did it? Let me God. restart my page just so it's the quickest. Oh, it's starting, guys. Here we go. Mine's a little behind. There it goes. No! Welcome to Pokemon Direct. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, I would like to provide the latest news about the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games. Oh, please don't be lagging on me, dudes. Oh, are you getting lagged? Please take a look at yeah. this video. Oof. I oh should turn you up. Oh, this game's beautiful. Yeah, it is. I'm just seeing it now. Mm, mm. Dang! Oh beautiful. man, look at. Whoa, that was. I, I can't tell if it's a game. Oh, like hold on. But... Oh, come on. I had it on Dude, auto quality was... and it just tanked to 240p. Oh, yeah, it's. it's... Oh, she looks so cool. These are the, the toy professors right there, man. Oh, this is. Oh, new Pokemon! Whoa! Oh, yeah, there's a Oh, that dude looks so cool, that turtle. I want him. Oh, wow. You got Sheepy Boy, you got Turtle Boy. What is that thing? What is that? What? Is that like a dark fire? Oh, boy? it's like a nin Oh my god, I'm seeing what you're talking about. That's so cool looking. Oh, oh, they're roaming. Look how cool. Oh, they they oh my god. Wow, they really updated the graphics since the last time oh, we saw this like, train. Like, the camera? Oh, wow. I told you they were hiding stuff! I told you they were hiding They're stuff! Off the I told you they were hiding stuff! I done told it! I called it! Dude, I called this so hard. Oh. What is that? He's a giant Oh, this is a Oh, that is so cool. What's going on? A raid battle. Right, true. Raid battles. Raid battles. A giant overpowered Jarjo boss, and they're working together to beat it. That is oh. Powered up Pokeball throw thing volleyball. <laughs> oh my God! What, what is Super happening? Raichu? Super Raichu. Oh my God! What the hell? They're huge. That looks cool. That is so cool. I called this, guys. I made a whole video about how I thought they were hiding stuff from us. What's going on here? I told you the world felt empty, guys. Ooh, the gyms. Everything's very green. Ooh. There's our first gym leader. Oh, man. They're throwing it like giant sports balls. Okay, so the Pokemon become bosses. Okay. I don't get it. They're huge. I don't Why are they so big, boy? I don't get it. I don't get it. In the first yeah, trailer, we see so clearly like normal size control. fighters playing, so. They're not always he huge. So cool. Is that another gym leader? Two gym leaders. I don't know what's going on. I don't know, man. Please explain, I'm guys, what we just saw. Hello, I'm Masuda from Game Freak. Hi, I'm Omori from Game Freak. What did you think of the video? 
I thought it was it was awesome. It was, my mind was Today, blown. We would like to deliver the latest news on Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield to all of you around okay. the world, right here from Game Freak's offices, where development Dude, is this underway. Pokemon out in the old world, roaming around. Like, Dude, I know. I done told you guys that the world is you too empty. The they were hiding the stuff. There was so they had to be like things they were hiding because the world was like dead. Or oh, as first I've been Pokemon, vindicated. I'm so happy. Adventure to become the champion. Your journey will take you through vast and lush Come on, stream. Towns in which you will find Dang, they really did update the, the graphics since we last saw it. Yeah, turn it on 1080p so it doesn't auto change. It's been on 1080p. Pokemon oh, mine doesn't. Mine's not blurring. Entertainment in the Gala region. Just make sure it's not on auto. Stadiums across the Gala region are frequently filled with <laughs> Yeah, dude, they ate a Mario mushroom for real. Battles between gym leaders and challengers. Okay. The excitement of these battles is often broadcast on television in the Gala region as well. Did we get a cool stadium announcer? The most announcer? exciting part of visiting Please? a new region no. is, of course, encountering Pokemon that you've never seen before. Tell us about those Pokemon you showed, bro. about some of the Pokemon that reside in the Gala region, I'd like to hand it over to James. The those Archive Pokemon Jeez, designs were that's... good, by the way. Hey, that Jamie. bird, though. Yeah, that bird was cool looking. There you go. Hello. Look. I'm James Turner from Game Freak. I worked as the art director for these games. There are a lot of never before seen Yeah, Shane, it did look so much more alive than the first trailer. The dark but allow me to dark introduce bird. you to just a few of them. Woo. The first Woo. Pokemon I'd like to show you is I love how it runs Woo. Okay. This Pokemon's defining The grass in this game looks so good. <laughs> fluffy fur, which is treasured by well, does, bro. in a town in the Gala region who use it to craft popular specialty goods. Close up. This Pokemon here okay. is Gossifla, the flowering Pokemon. Gossifla favors places with clean air and water, okay. and its what pollen is, is said to have healing properties. Dreadnought. This next Pokemon that is Pokemon, called the the turtle Dreadnought. Pokemon. Dreadnought. The bite Pokemon. Dreadnought. The sharp and jagged edges of its jaw. I honestly Watch don't know what the name is until I see the text iron. because his it's accent is so strange. Oh, <laughs> difficult Pokemon to tame. What was that Pokemon? Oh, oh. But the most What's that red and black one that he bit? Is that a Pokemon, Pokemon we already knew about? That can be seen Birdman is so cool. The sky is called Corviknight. Corviknight. It puts its skills to use when working as a Corviknight is oh, wow. dope. Which will take the oh, so you use Corviknight as a ride Pokemon, kind of. Oh, nice. Previously visited. All right, so it's like as fast travel. If you already know, some Pokemon can evolve, okay. changing their appearance and becoming stronger in the process. And what's it do? Gossifleur what's it evolve is to? one of these Pokemon. When Gossifleur evolves... Oh, we saw this thing. Eldegoss. Oh, okay. It becomes Eldegoss. As you can see, there are now small seeds scattered across its fuzzy head. Oh man. These seeds are said to promote growth in plants oh, and can revitalize both people and Pokemon. Oh, so it's a healing that. Pokemon. That's all I can show you this time. Ah, cool. what? Oh, there it's all. I'm like excited for Corviknight. Yeah, Corviknight is dope. Also, Dreadnought is cool as well. You can look forward to finding many Pokemon you're already familiar with. I hope you're as excited as we are to encounter the amazing variety of Pokemon right. that inhabit the Galarian. This game is Galarian beautiful, region. by the way. So you could just roam this. These giant lake areas, you can... Okay, there's those red lasers. Dude, so. I told you, man. Told you this whole lake was going to be explorable. Meeting lots of Pokemon I, is one I of the thrills you. of the adventure. I told you the world would be more explorable. I done did tell everybody. Find the widest variety whoa, whoa. of Pokemon out of wild anywhere area. in the Gala region is in a place called the Wild Area. Wild area. This wild area stretches between cities and is filled with abundant nature as far they as God. This game is beautiful. Different Pokemon can appear depending on where you are. I right, so they, they only roam, roam in the wild area. They look so much more natural than Pokemon. Let's go though. They look so much Some more of you natural. May already have noticed. 
but while control the camera confirmed. You have control over the camera. Yes, it. dude, I told you it was gonna be controlled, but I told you it didn't look like it was normal. Yes, and even in the lake. Dude, I told you, man. Dude, this is just me. All my predictions coming true. Dude, why? A new phenomenon can be triggered. Dude, when did I become like a god at predicting Pokemon stuff? When? When did this happen? Dynamaxing. Dynamaxing so you got open areas, movable camera. He did performed by yes! trainers Dude. and their Pokemon. For Good more details, morning, I would like to turn it over Dude. to you. The planning so director for the games. So dynamaxing is how you make them giant monsters. What? Like it, it's it's just like watching this this direct. It's just like confirming oh, everything I've ever wow. predicted about From Pokemon. Yeah, I know. Right? Like <laughs> yeah, yep. for real. It's just like watching our predictions I'll come true. About the new Dynamax feature. Voice it's acting? Sure. Like, I don't know. I didn't all see. New strategies Except for this. Battles. This is. Yeah, cool. Robert, I totally nailed it, dude. Cool. Pokemon from the Gala region can oh. Dynamax to not only become. Oh, this is size, actually different. And armor power. evolution is wrong. That's one that's wrong. So I'm happy about that, actually. Okay. So it All seems. the moves they know turn into powerful max moves. Armored Evolution is something I predict. So I guess that is one of the things I got wrong. Battle. It's However, a temporary power boost. It's not Mega Evolution. Normal after three turns. Okay. And you can power up in different so, ways, not just you need to choose wisely Mega Evolution. To trigger it. So now you get Dynamax, Mega Evolution, Z moves. It's all different. Key to becoming a I love it. That was smart. Trainer in these games. Remember that wild area we told you okay, about? Okay, so that's a multiplayer if mode you for raid battlers. Players, you'll find more ways to play there. You can play multiplayer. Do... One of these new multiplayer features is called Max Raid Battles, in which four Pokemon trainers can join forces to challenge wild Dynamax right. Pokemon. In Max Raid Battles, the wild Dynamax it's Pokemon so cool. keeps its giant form for the entire battle. It's a boss Pokemon. Not only that, it's a boss it Pokemon. also has special yeah. powers that make it an extremely formidable opponent. Only one of these four players who have teamed up for the Max Raid Battle will be able to Dynamax okay. their Pokemon in each battle. So coordinating with your team will be crucial when taking on these powerful Looks wild so cool. Pokemon. Nice. If you and your allies manage to emerge victorious, you will get cool, a chance man. to capture the Pokemon in a truly dynamic catch cycle. The Pokemon that you can take on in Max Raid battles also vary depending on where you are in the wild area and the state of the weather. Among these different Pokemon are some that can oh, only have, be like, stats, defeat so. them in Max Raid battles. So we hope to yeah, I, I assume the test their skills against yeah. a variety of Pokemon. I assume that's how it is. Max Raid Battles features strategic cooperative four-player gameplay against a single Pokemon, which is a okay. first for the main series of Pokemon games. It's going to be a ton of fun to use your Nintendo okay. Switch system's local wireless functionality to tackle these battles with friends in person and experience the excitement sure. together. You can also connect with other Maybe players even your over friends. the internet to enjoy playing with other trainers from all around the globe. <laughs> Nice. So I hope you'll try Max Raid Battles. Yeah. So Max Raid Battles is allowed online, so me and you could play Raid Battles online. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. You catch powerful Pokemon. Next, I think I we're like seeing a little bit more people. of that hardcore element I was talking adventure. about in my predictions video. I hope so. I think I this think we're already kind of seeing it. In the Galar region. And Just the way they're presenting the game the seems way more His hardcore. Name is Leon. Leon looks really cool. His design's Pokemon good. Pokemon battles are so widely enjoyed. His undefeated record in official matches is all the more incredible. He's like Lance. His popularity is only enhanced is, by but okay. his shining personality, <laughs> winning him the adoration of trainers across the region. It's no exaggeration to he's say that he is the so most well. prominent trainer in all of Galar. The champion has a younger brother who also happens to be one of your rivals. His name is Hop. I think giant Pokemon is Hop cool, but I'm not sure exactly just how like much it's actually going to affect the game. He trains vigorously okay, every day over other things like Mega Evolutions that we already have. His journey he do it on train begins on the same day as yours. On your journey, you and Hop will receive a great deal of support from these two characters. Okay. Professor Magnolia is the professor of the Galar region and okay. specializes in researching the Dynamax okay, phenomenon. Assistant. Sonia is okay. her granddaughter and also serves as her assistant. There but you see how the champions like Lance advice is gonna track, he's going to see him all throughout the game. Adventure. 
Oh man. This is obviously the grass gym, right? Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Everything's really Next, green and like the dude looks like he's Pokemon in a safari hat and stuff. Region. You and your yeah, Shane, and you the game looks going to be awesome. Gyms throughout the region right, in order to achieve your goal of becoming champion. I'm waiting for These them to call them gym masters. Are constructed in very special locations that allow for Pokemon to be Dynamax. Nope. Still gym leaders. The gym leaders also have extremely powerful Dynamax Pokemon on their teams, so you okay. will need to counter them with some of your own. Battles between two Dynamax oh, Pokemon so are beautiful. explosive. And yeah, the, energy the lighting in this game and the particle effects are really good. Let you think it's going to be a legendary cutscene at the end? Yeah. This is the grass I do think they'll show Milo. legendaries. It'd be kind of weird if we didn't though. see a legendary yeah, twice this time. Alongside his trustworthy Pokemon. And you will have I to love the cutscene, though. Fighting style to continue your journey. I'm liking that depth of field effects. I love to the music, too. Like it's, heated battles against it's like very amped. Over the course of your yeah. Adventure. Not enough. We've shown up quite a bit today. But... I okay, one more trailer. Legendary's time. Let's go. I would like you to oh. see. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Legendaries Please or Star Revolutions? Which one is it going to be? Legendaries. It's got to be legendaries. They're having it's, it's CGI. Yeah, it's legendaries. Yeah. It oh! Whoa! Whoa! He looks amazing. I don't know what it is. Oh. Wolf. It's a wolf. Shield wolf. Dude, did and I call it? Wolf. Did I call it? Did I call it or what, dude? Really it like did I wolf. call it or what? This is exactly what I said it was gonna be. He said it was gonna be wolf. I said the shield was gonna be, um, have shield yeah. armor, and I said the sword one was gonna have yeah. lighter, more oh, offensive wait, wait, wait. armor. This one. is exactly what I called. Oh, there's a third one. If there's a third one, I didn't call that. But these two, I totally called. Maybe it's that giant one that's like depicted on the the hill. They're probably looking at that giant creature that's depicted on that sure, one. They have to work Pokemon together. You yeah. saw in the video just now are in fact Dude, legendary Pokemon. I called it. I called it. Look forward to discovering for yourself so just cool. what role Zashin and Zamazenta will play. You saw them both story. working together at the end because something bigger yeah. was Yeah. It's got to be that like giant thing that's depicted on that hill, bro. That's what it's got to be. Maybe. Of course, I'm thinking. what we revealed today is just a small part of what you will find in Pokemon Oh Sword my and Pokemon gosh, Shield. I called it. All my predictions. There are many more Pokemon and interesting Pre characters. Oh, like 90% of everything I predicted came true. We're putting everything we've got here at Game Freak into making Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield right. a game that everyone around the world will enjoy. Okay, that's corny. Please look forward to it. Release date. Thanks to all of our guests from Game Freak. Come on, release date, please. Finally. There you go. I would like to announce Ooh. the release date. Okay. Pokemon Sword. And I don't like November Pokemon 15th. Cover art. Will be available oh, yeah. November cover art's 15th, a little understated. I'm not, as I'm not really, simultaneous release. not really digging them. And starting today, Whoa. you can pre-order a special they're double pack. Them. Stay tuned for more information. They're not bad, but they're not amazing. I hope you look forward to your new Pokemon adventure in the gallery. Oh, yeah. Thank you for watching. <sighs> don't like the box art. Yeah, the box art's not the best. No. But November 15th that, makes sense. I hope that's temporary. That, that's yeah. just uh, it, too basic for me. It's really basic. The designs are... There's just not much detail to them. Which is strange um, for a game that has so much your, detail. Let me raise your volume a little bit so people can hear you. I, I lowered it during the thing because... Me screaming and you screaming. That that's fine because they can just watch my reactions if they want to hear exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, but the, I mean they can hear you a little bit, just not as clearly. Right, right, um, right, right. That's how I have you. I have it like on like the lower third, and I'm on mm -hmm. the higher third, so I'm like way louder than you. Right, right. So, um, do you just want to have an impromptu like sword and shield discussion now, for, like ten-ish minutes? Yeah, that's that's fine, yeah. dude. That, that's, that's fine because I'm that. gonna cut up probably I'm the probably gonna cut this main direct part yeah. as well and just like post all of my reactions and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because so, this will um, probably get taken down or at least demonetized, anyways. So. Probably right. Anyway, <laughs> um, so, uh, so let's. Uh... All right. So one thing I think that I think it's probably wrong, probably, 
is armor evolution. That does not seem to be a thing in this. I think that's actually really good, right? Like, because one, armor evolution, from the sound of it, it sounds basically like Mega Evolution 2.0, which is kind of redundant, right? What they're doing instead mm -hmm. is Dynamaxing, which is different. So, obviously, um, well, maybe not obviously, I'll point it out. They didn't show off any Z moves, they didn't show off any right. Mega Evolution. But if you play, um, you know, Sun and Moon, there were no Mega Evolutions till later on, right? Right. So I like, think it's the same for they, Let's Go Pikachu, right? They didn't right. show so that till later. You won't see Z, Z moves or Mega Evolution until post game anyway, mm -hmm. so that shouldn't be expected to be seen early on, regardless. But Dynamax is going to be the new gimmick, so it's going to be interesting to see how that interacts with Z, with Z moves and Mega Evolution. Hopefully, I do want those mechanics to come back, but. You know, seeing them now doesn't really matter because it's going to be a post-game thing regardless. So I think right. it's cool. I like that it is something that, you know, is, like, it's different. It's only for three turns. Pokemon becomes really giant. And it's not just one thing. You can There's, like, different ways to power your Pokemon up so it's kind of you can go at it from a different angle. So there's a lot of flexibility with that. I, I, can, I, can, I can kind of appreciate that. And it does offer a mechanic in the game. They can also turn Pokemon into boss Pokemon, which we're seeing with the raid battles, which I also think is really cool. Yeah, I thought that was I thought the raid Pokemon was a super good idea, especially the fact that you can like play online with your friends and stuff. Dude, I yeah. thought that was awesome. Dude, the fact that they're actually bringing like multiplayer where you can just run around the game or like that's something I didn't expect. Like I wasn't no, expecting no, no, them to really that. do that at all. No. But that that more explorable nature with the movable the camera wild, and the fact that they were I definitely thought that there was gonna be a lot more happening in the world. Dude, I called it. I even said that so, there was a possibility they would bring back um So I wasn't sure Pokemon. if it was clear though. Was the wild area just that one giant area with the lakes or is the wild no. area okay. just a type of area? I think the wild area is all that space in between towns, like that path underneath the bridge where we the weren't sure if we area. could go. The lake area, but also I think that path that extends through kind of the middle of the map where there's like not much... Um... So you're saying in the wild area is just one area, but that wild area is kind of pervasive through... It kind of extends. Yeah, I think it extends through a lot of the map. Um, so I think it's pretty much everywhere that you see on the map that's... A distinct area but not a town is part of that wild area okay so it seems like the wild area is an open it seems pretty much pretty much an open world environment essentially right. so it's like a segmented open world environment yes like within this area it's open but once you go elsewhere it's not so i guess that's kind of a happy compromise i believe they confirmed that you can control the camera right I, I yes they they it. totally did they said it i mean they explicitly said like you may have noticed that you can have full control of the camera now like that they okay. legit you said go. you can control the camera completely now so there you go you can control the camera now i will get to chat in a minute by the way guys yeah yeah um, don't worry guys i'm gonna answer your questions just a bit so and maybe we can take turns um yeah i mean uh, if so i have any important questions to the topic then i will read it out together yeah, yeah, of course. So, um, movable camera. That's awesome. Open areas. That's what I. Those are the things I really wanted to see. And roaming Pokemon. It does look like in the wild area, Pokemon are actually roaming the environment. It's not yeah. just. They're there. They are there. They and they're. The thing. They're so much more natural than they are in Let's Go Pikachu. Yes. It'd be so much better than that game. But it, it is, it is at the end of the day, still compromised because the wild area is separated from the rest of the map of color. Right. right. Well, so I think they need to keep. I, I think they did the right thing for this game, to be honest. Because mm. I think they need to keep it more segmented in that way because it was it's weird if Pokemon are just roaming around, like wild, vicious Pokemon just roaming around the towns, like bumping yeah. into walls and in small environments. Because I feel like that was the. A problem with Let's Go is that they looked very awkward because the the segments where they could roam were tiny and there was no real pat. There's no real realistic shape to them. They're all like really like corridors and like square right. shaped. It, it just looked really unnatural and they were just kind of like dead doll things floating around, <laughs> like just yeah, but this randomly this was, bumping into things. 
I agree. This was more natural. Yeah. This it's felt like up. real. I'm going back and actually like looking at it. it they they look like real creatures. They sure it, this this out. segment looks like Breath of the Wild Pokemon. Also, yeah, you can clearly see that that bridge area is actually much wider than it looks, and it looks like you can go over there. I'm looking at the okay, trailer. Oh, there we are. Just go to go to like 2942. There's a clear shot way. where it just. I have it pulled up. Um, go out of that and go back to the. No, it won't let me. Go out of that, go to Nintendo's website, and go to the videos and click it there. And then oh, it will let you. Terrible. Yeah. Then it will let you. So go to 2942, because some reason they kept in all the extra stuff. Um, they'll probably release um, a version without it, but go to 2942 if they didn't. Like the 40-minute okay, version. So it's not even it's not on the videos page either, actually. It's I mean, it, on the home page. I went into the... I legit am telling Okay, it, it is available... No, this is an old... This is the old one. No, click on. Yeah, I don't have it. I don't have it. It's Where? For me. What? Okay, are you on Nintendo or are you on? Yeah. Yeah. I'm on Nintendo. Click their videos. I'm literally looking at, it, dude. It, it's, it's the very it's first. Vi it's the very first video in uploads, dude. My very first video says Nintendo Entertainment System June Game. Yours is broken. Yours is fucking broken, dude. Everyone I'm looking in at my, it. can see it in my, in my stream. <laughs> You can look at my 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 window, my YouTube page. It literally is no, it's it's no. no. Hold on, something interesting that Shane in my chat is saying is he did did he mention weather? I don't think he mentioned anything about I don't weather. Think he weather. I don't think, I think I don't remember mentioned. anything about weather, but dude, I'm looking at it right now on my stream. So if you want to pop in and look yeah. at what I'm talking about, um, but there's a very clear it it extends throughout that whole underneath the bridge area so i'm gonna pull up the map and the show you on show you guys in the in my stream everything that i think is going to be part of this i'll um, check in my chat real quick this thing oh yeah, it's fine um i'll mute myself so that you can do that okay Oompa Moyo, do you think there will be another pokemon direct in the future um, that's a good question. Brandon uh, suggested during the podcast that maybe there would be a another yeah. Pokemon Direct. Actually, I'm not um, sure if there will be another. Oh my maybe. god, dude! This uh, sea of grass is such a Breath of the Wild feeling. Looking at the trailer, it's insane. Um, they had some. They had some open wide moments. That's for sure, Brandon. I do I, remember seeing that. So um, Rogue is saying, I like that the models are realistic and simple, just like first this. Pokemon games. I don't like when they have excessive detail. Oh, this. I really like that bird. Yeah, dude, I like I it a lot. I forgot the name of the bird. It's like something oh, night or something like that. Corona, and it it it, it oh, they basically this. said you got to fly around. So it looks like they're gonna still use like the ride Pokemon mechanic, but specified ride Pokemon, not your own. But it could become something. Uh, it could become a more available option later on, maybe. I, and computer robots, you know, given how much they shared with us, I still do feel like I know very little about the game at the same time. Yeah, they there's still stuff I'm not good certain job about. Teasing us and giving us more, but not really giving us yeah. all too much either. I don't feel spoiled in any way. Yeah. Lazy you know? James is actually saying he he heard something in the in the chat about the weather. Um, he he says it said weather in your area will have some play. I believe. So maybe they did mention weather and we just didn't notice. Well, we did see those cutscenes and there was like different environments. So I mean, there's different ecosystems. Uh, like there was a yeah. ride on wa ra walking around in a sandstorm, right? Which is a, we a, a weather of Pokemon sandstorm. Right. So you know, there was like rain and there's gonna be weather and sunny, I guess. Yeah. Hail. Those are gonna be weathers you deal with, but will there be like a real time? day night cycle yeah. will there be a weathering system like breath of the wild or something softly like that i mean i remember in black and white like there were times with rain and things of that nature so i don't know we'll see dang seeing the cities from this open world era looks so cool and i'm i'm telling you man this grass I, I don't have any trailer is, I, I don't know but this game is fucking gorgeous also oh also in the trailer they show that area that's on the map that is like that broken tower they show that like that's totally a explorer area yeah, which i done dude yeah, i told you there's no way they had that in the map and you can't go dude i so it okay, seems I oh, trailer, I, 
So favorite. if you look on the map, it seems that area where you go to the train, you know, like right below oh, the man. lake area. Oh, so I have the trailer up again. Cool, cool. You oh, know man. that this uh, one's like a high quality or more high quality version because it's not being blurry because it's a stupid stream. Yeah, um, mine was mine was really sharp on the stream though. But this you game looks beautiful. Oh yeah, I, it does. I mean, sure, there's parts that have like blurry textures up close and. Yeah, like yeah. some of the polygons are a little low poly ish, but like overall, I, yeah. I mean, these are close up shots, right? The costumes so on like the <clears throat> characters are on the grass, but they are actually there. You know, it's kind of hard to say if it's still like random encounters or not. I can't say like for certain. I don't Maybe think. Parts, it, look, it, I think like you can in clearly the wild area. in it, the wild yeah. area they're roaming, but other areas, yeah. it's not. I think that's exactly what it is. That's why I was kind yeah. of saying like it. Yeah. It. I don't think they have it in the towns because it's right. quite. It. I think it's just so much smaller and it's just much less natural. Plus, I think yeah. they wanted to satisfy people who like random encounters and people who like the new mechanics. Um, okay. No, no. Okay. Confirmed. Confirmed. I figured it out. It, 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 there is dynamic weather. Okay. Watch. So did I see the bridges. Okay. Like there's like snow and like from blizzards. different angles in the same area, I see different lighting, different sun time times of day, different weather. Yeah. Um, but it's like it's still was somewhat in the same area, so for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because there there's, there's gonna be different weather. And you see nights. rain, you see yeah. snow, you see yes. like sandstorms. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yes. That that's all confirmed. You can like go through the water with like the a, with your bicycle. It like gets like floaties oh, right. in the side, and you just go through the water. Dude, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... So in in the shot at um at twenty twenty nine fifty six, you see that you can go in that area that's at the top middle of the map with the like right in front of that dragon fortress. Trailer, so I don't know what part you're referring to. Um, okay, there's a section where you can see right in front of that like dragon fortress. Like you're in there. You're in the lake, like, really off to the side, too. Like, this open explorer area, it's but, not but just, a, like... Actually, there's a bike that it has special wheels when you go through the water. It's not just a normal bike. It's... I th I'm pretty sure it's a normal bike. It just transforms, because it's literally just okay. a normal bike okay. with stuff has, on like, the side. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think those pop out, and then you go in the water. Like, you don't have to get okay, a second maybe. bike. I did, see, I did see when the bike was normal, it had, like, some yellow pieces. So it probably just blows yeah. up when you're in the water. That's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, like... You're in that lake, like, if you look at the map, so you're in a lake really off to the side. So it seems like these open areas truly are, like, fully open. They're not like, you know, oh, they're a little so open, but the very the edges you can't go to. It's, like, fully open, like, every oh, edge man. of the map you can go and to. there's berries and trees that you can shake off. I saw yeah. the, 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 I saw a quick shot of the, the dragon mouth of the, so, you know, in the Galar map, the dragon city with the giant, like, long protrusions at the top I, there is yeah. a shot that shows the dragon head um i see it it's a giant black castle with gold outlines and there's a dragon head at the front and it's not a charizard because it has a horn at the, the snout okay yeah you can like whistle the pokemon by the way and get them to like come over to you oh yeah i'm seeing what you're talking about that's when they were first showing off those raid areas yeah. and also the red lasers are different areas on the map on the wild area map that you can play yeah. with other players like but see, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can see that that area is quite clearly a part of the the open world area. Like, all that middle section up in the top, that all underneath the bridges and all of that lake area is that open. That's the extent so of the open world. what is a little concerning to me, though, uh, is that you go to these areas to do raid battles, and only one person can, can catch the Pokemon, which kind of... That's what it seems like. So, like, if you do a whole raid battle... You waste your time doing it, and only one, like, three people are going to just waste their time with the raid battle just to beat, participate, like, but who actually does it, you know? So I wonder um, if there's still, like, a benefit to it, or if, you know, though there's one person catching it, everyone gets that same Pokemon just elsewhere. I uh, imagine everyone gets the Pokemon. I'm not even sure if this is a, if raid battles are for catching Pokemon. I think, I think you get you other catch, rewards. Throw, no, I think you catch it. I think you actually catch it you throw a pokeball at it he threw the he threw the giant oh, pokeball to transform his pokemon another, there's a there's a, thir a third pokemon in the grass area gym leader that's a rotom guys that's a rotom there's a new rotom form new rotom form confirmed 
I don't know what it is. I guess um, I see it right there. If you look at the trailer, Brandon, you would have to go to 212. But it's a new Rotom. Let me go to the version of the trailer you're seeing, because mine still yeah. has all the fluff. Just go to po official Pokemon YouTube channel, and the trailer's there. Go to two. It's a three minute thirty four second trailer. Go to two two minutes and twelve seconds. You'll see there's a new Rotom. Oh, okay. You uh, know they have the whole direct in sixteen minutes and forty two seconds, like they have the, on Nintendo's website. Like just just um, purely the direct. So you don't I'm, have to look I'm at just the trailer. Get back to my chat while you do that. Right. Yeah, I thought the song, the music was really good. I'm gonna have to listen to the whole trailer again, like on my own, just quietly analyze the heck out of this. I'm spotting all the things already. I just saw a new Rotom form, for example. Uh, though you think there will be multiple wild areas, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to re-listen to what they said in the trailer, but I think it might be with Brandon saying that it's just one giant wild area, but that giant wild area extends into the far reaches of Galar, so it's it's kind of almost like the same difference as it being um. Like, Thank you, you know, Acer five thousand for different subscribing, bro. So big and pervasive, it extends throughout a big part of the gallery map. So you will go in and out of it as you explore, I guess. Maybe we'll see. Why was um? What are you talking about? No, no mouth. Oh, does it? Say, I don't oh, know what you mean. So saying, no, it says there. Yeah, Shane. The characters right. are very well okay. animated. All right. So hopefully, uh, all right. That, yeah. that sounds cool. Andres, what cool. was the uh, what was the time? Two minutes twelve seconds. Two minutes twelve seconds. Yeah. I'm like, I went to 2 minutes and 11 seconds. <laughs> if you look, there is a green Rotom form. Um, it's just different, it's just, there's, there's Rotom Wash, Rotom Heat. Um, what is a Rotom? <laughs> it's an electric ghost Pokemon that takes up, the, it possesses appliances. So, okay. Uh, this is oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. They had that in Pokemon yeah. Sun and Moon that controlled your thing, but you... Yeah. He also mm. took control of the Pokedex in that. So it looks like he's... I don't know is that the weird, player. like, yellow, green... Pokemon form. I Why is the, the quality so good? Why is the it quality is in this trailer like such crap? Right. Yeah, it is crap. It's so bad. I... Hold on. The, the, if you right. go to the Pokemon Direct in the on Nintendo site, the 16-minute one, it's, like, crystal clear. Let me go find it in that. Because this is, like, the shittiest quality I've ever seen in my life. It's very blurry. I agree. Nintendo. Nintendo. Put the background music back on, I guess. Well, it's kind of blurry on this, too. I don't know, man. YouTube compression, though. YouTube compression be trash. Yeah, oh, did you go to the stream or the actual direct upload? The direct upload. But yeah, I see the Rotom. I saw it. It's, it's kind of like flying around on, oh, man, over so on the beautiful. right. It, like, it, it's it's yes, pretty it's pretty yes, blurry on this too, but at least you can see the whole direct. textures and low poly areas, as I said earlier. But like the whole collective imagery of the game is just very yeah. colorful. There's a lot more. The lighting in the game is great. Is higher. The grass yeah. rendering is really good too. Parts of it, at least. Yeah, I, I think the the grass that you actually go in and like like where the pokemon roam and stuff that's that looks good mm -hmm. also these i'm i am pretty sure I'm they skip updated to the wild some stuff. to talk about the wild area in the direct i want to re-listen to that to see okay um what exactly they say just to make sure i know what's going on with that so i have to get past the initial trailer all right let's start that at the right. same time so whenever you find the timestamp all right i'll yeah, I'm looking for it. Seven. Let's see. Oh, Hold this, on. Let's see more cutscenes here. But... Seven twenty-eight is a good timestamp, actually. If that's when that they first, little... that's when they first pull up, and it says wild area. So. Oh yeah. right. Okay. Because they first talk about the Pokemon for a little bit. Shane, Corbinite. you're gonna choose some of them. Nice. Pokemon is a cool book. Corviknight. Yeah, Man. Corviknight's dope. He said seven something. Seven twenty-eight. Um, alright, 728 you say? Yep. Alright, I'm at 726, but that's fine. Ready? Uh, well, we're gonna be a little bit off, but it's fine. Wait, hold on. Alright, now I'm at 728. Damn it, I just moved to 726! Alright, now I'm on 28. Okay, alright, alright, all right. let's just go. Good enough. Nice, right. there is in a place called the okay. wild area. 
This wild area stretches between cities and is filled with abundant it's nature. As far cities. as the eye can yeah, see. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Different between Pokemon cities. Appear depending on where you are and what the weather is oh, like. Oh, they're all of it. Meaning there will be new discoveries. They said for you each day. Yeah, yeah, they did mention the weather. Different so Pokemon will appear noticed, depending on the weather. While adventuring okay. through this area, what you the have control like over the camera, allowing you to better search for each items day. and so Pokemon. Each day, so it changes. Search. The, the, yeah. yeah. Day night cycle weather confirmed. Also, controllable camera. Control he, the camera. He, he literally Power said, yeah. Time Tall grass, right in there. the skies above, and even in the lakes, where you never know what you might find. Yeah, this is it. In certain this locations it, in the Gala region, a new phenomenon can be triggered that may find. And Pokemon. Right. Yeah. That's what I need to know. There's roaming Pokemon in this. There's, you can control the camera fully. Right, so it looks Maybe like, not in towns? I'm not sure if they control no, it. No, I don't think, I don't know. It, I, I'm, I'm going to say no. Um, I I don't think it really matters too much in town. To be I've honest, got, if you can I'm just here. happy they gave us the wild area. Dude, the wild area the seems wild area legit. Dude, right. people were people were not confident, but the Pokemon no. company really came through, dude. It's just interesting that they had to be like, okay, so only a part of the game is gonna be open world. Um, I think it's a really good a compromise because I'm sure. people... And it answers the question, Dora, because they're like, oh, there's no way there's any roaming Pokemon, there's no way there's any open world segments, there's no way any controllable camera, unless it's segmented into the game, and it is. Mm -hmm. So, I'm happy with that. abundant. That's what I really wanted. That is yeah. it. That is what I really want. I wanted the roaming Pokemon, I wanted the open world, I wanted the camera. I got all of that, just in a part of the game. Which yeah. Which is fine. That's, that's the fine, yeah. I'm gonna play, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I have to play their part. Yeah. I, I think it's a great compromise so they can still... I think it's exactly what they said. They're going to try new ideas while keeping everything that makes Pokemon Pokemon. That's what they said so, in the first trailer. And that's exactly I what they're the doing. I think the thing that kind of a concerns me, though, is that I feel like I'm going to... I don't want to have to always have to go back there. Right? Like, oh, but what I want these other parts of the map to be open as well. So it's going to be... Like, I know they said it extends between cities. So, I, I like, if you look... Pulling up the Galar map. Right, I have pulling it pulled up the Galar map. Kubu. Oh, by the way, Banjo's like totally happening, guys. So, yeah. <laughs> Just a uh, random side note. Yeah, Banjo, for real. I thought you did the Goha. Goha. Yeah. No, I, I didn't. Oh. Yeah. Well, you... No. But, yeah, dude, I'm just like... I'm surprised to the extent of how big the wild area is because I thought it would be like very contained to like, but it, I, it, I, it, I pulled it up. So there's like a lake in the trailer that's like way on the edge. Like, like you, I'm like, is that even like part of it? And it's like, yeah, that's totally part of that wild area, even though it looks like, like something that they could have easily been like, nah, actually you can't go there. It's there like, you know, a little boundary there, but no. It's like so far off <laughs> to the side, and you can still go there. Right. So, yeah, based on what I heard, see your computer that, that robots. Is what it is. But look, so like the wild, like you said, right? I, I see it extend all the way up. Mm hmm. Right. Yeah, because you know we even see the dinosaur. I mean, the dragon head all the way up here. Yeah. Right. So it goes all the way up to the black yeah. castle. Yeah. And that. And it starts that lake yeah. that's on the very left on the top, not the one that's kind of in the middle by the uh, pillar thing, but the one all the way on the left underneath, like, that Chinese dragon, like, tower thing. This green, the green one? Yeah, I mean, they're all pretty it, green, it's like, but it's... Well, if you look, it's, it's not, like, blue, like the big lakes in the bottom. Right, but there's all the ones up here are green. But yeah, the, the one all the way on the left... That I you see a shot of them exploring in that, which I thought was like that they wow. Okay, so yeah, it, it extends for a, a, the entire like big a big central yeah. area, but my concern is that once you get past that, right, you have all these other towns. You have like mm -hmm. five or six towns like the top half of the map. Like there's no wild there. Uh, if you scroll up in that area with like the snow section, I'm wondering if that will be a wild area. Because it has that, it I think it might be, at least to some extent. It looks like it's not to me. I'm not sure. Maybe they'll have another wild area to surprise us. Um, Maybe. 
it just looks it looks like here's the thing we see some shots of them in the ice area and it looks like it's very straightforward sort of basic route kind of lock yeah. perspective there was no wild pokemon in that area it was just a dude that you fight and there's no there's nothing roaming around or anything like that um so i, I i'm okay. under the impression that ice area to the right is not a wild area at all like i think well, i was talking the one how, at the top but well well you mean like where the train is between the, the yeah building? though the, i can see there's a very clear defined path on that one so i'm not sure yeah i don't know uh, I, but I think we. I think it's fair to say that the. It seems like this giant wild wild area is like locked behind walls and mountains, right? Like it's a giant yeah. section. So, yeah, I. I don't think I don't. I just don't think it's. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I think it's that. plenty big enough, though. I mean, it looks it, it kind looks of like, yeah. small ish on the map, but when you actually yeah. look at the gameplay, like that teeny tiny little crevice in between under the bridges is like huge. Like it's a mm -hmm. giant area. Like that it's a gigantic gap there. Like the scale of the world is way bigger than the map seems to suggest. Right. Like it's yeah, just this no, on the yeah. map it's like this teeny tiny sliver where you can like barely fit in between no uh, it, it, in the gameplay it's like this gigantic massive gap right yeah yeah, yeah for sure um oh man that's been recording for an hour wow. especially if you go to like 118 you can see it really well it's like huge <laughs> yeah so let me let me let me catch up with my chat real quick um right I don't think we'll get Garo to uh, Blake Link. I kind of wanted it, but I, I just don't think it's gonna happen. Um, I I don't I, I wish I wish we got Garo to. I see you, Shane. So Vilgar, so if you have any shield, insight on this question, we can discuss it. Bro. I'm probably gonna have to go. Just let me know in the comments. I think his name is really cool. It's like Valation or something like that, and he just looks sleeker to me. So I'm probably going with Sword. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Sword blue. for sure. Yeah, uh, probably. Unless I hear something really interesting about the shield version in terms of like of ability or something, I'm going with that. Oh, so viewers saying that in World of Warcraft with the raids, here. there are like 40 players, but only one person gets the loot. So if that's the way it is for Pokemon, okay, I, I don't, I don't, whatever. Yeah. It's still fun to play online. Digimon. You can still like take turns. Though. Yeah, it still looks cool. So and you can cool. have you can just have it to where one person takes one and, and then the next know. person takes the next offer one. some sort of reward system for everyone. yeah i'm like, sure you'll still like don't. level up your pokemon and stuff maybe and you'll probably yeah. get other rewards maybe you don't get the big pokemon but maybe you get like a bunch of other stuff like supplies and stuff mm -hmm. like we think i definitely look forward to downloading it instead of buying the physical version because my pokemon heart go black too and x games all broke suddenly in the reason i got let's go digitally um I don't know if I'll get... I think I'll probably get Sword and Shield physically, though. It just seems like one of those games I want to have physically. Like, the really big Switch games I'll probably get physically because I want to have, like, a case for it. But a lot of games I've gotten digitally. Actually, I got yeah. Smash digitally, so that's a pretty big Switch game. I have um, Smash physically, boy. Yeah, I guess I just want... I want case. Smash to always be in my system, right? But I feel like you, dude. Other games. I, I get all my games so, physically now because I get a huge discount. That's, that's the only reason. Make, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Shane in my chat he, says he's too. He too is getting the sword version. That's probably what I'm gonna get, to be honest. Cool. Yeah, I'm probably getting sword, but I can't. I don't think there's any reason for me to get both. I almost never get both Pokemon games, um, unless there's. Shane, I'm not really a big fan I of the box like art, to be honest. It's kind of very get plain. Um, I don't know. I didn't really like the packaging. I mean, it's just the same. It, I mean, it's the same box art, and it's kind of. It's Plain. Know, there's just something about seeing both together that made me excited about it. Okay. I mean, it's like cool, but I'm never gonna play the other one. Right. I'm gonna play one, beat it, and be like, okay, I'm not touching the other one. <laughs> I'm not gonna play the game twice. Like this maybe you oh would, but I'm not. Dude. Oh my! Goodness. I don't have time to play the same game twice anymore. I do bro. like. I really like the designs for the legendary Pokemon. Though I think they look cool. I think I feel like a lot of people are gonna complain about them. Yeah. Dude, their um, eggs literally in my... I don't know if you saw my Pokemon predictions video, but this is literally exactly what I said. 
I said there were going to be two wolves. One of them was going to have shield armor, so it's going to be big and bulky. And the other one's going to be lighter, more offensive armor for sword. And they're both going to be wolves. Uh, uh, and this is literally I, I exactly what I said. That was a pretty logical, um, very conclusion. Um, I thought that was pretty fair. Yeah. It does seem to be the case. I mean, yeah, shield's going to be bulky, defensive, and sword's going to be more fast and offensive. Yeah, I agree. I'm just um, surprised to the mon- to like how specific like it was like exactly as I said it was gonna be. <laughs> it was fairly obvious, I would say. Like they put wolves on the hey, logos, shut up. shield, shut up. sword. Shut up. Give me give, just give it to me, man. Just let me have this. I mean, I'll give you this. I'd say a lot of bigger YouTubers are saying, No, I don't think I think it's just a coat of arms. I think that the legendary is completely different. I heard a lot of people say that. Um, yeah, so, Dave was so, wrong, dude. I I was right. That's I all that thinking, matters. I was thinking that this wolves were going to be legendaries, but I wasn't sure if it was just going to be one and it was going to be like a bigger legendary and it would just be separate covers. I don't know. Um, I wasn't. I, I, I'm not saying that I predicted what you were saying. I'm just saying that, sure. you know, it, you could. There, there's obviously evidence for it, right? It was like, hey, look, guys, we. You know, shield, sword. But a lot of people were like, no, 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 can't be. Yeah. But, all right. See a mastermind, see computer robots. Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're pretty much done with this, I think. You know, I'm going to have to sift through some stuff and figure this out. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I kind of want to, like, take a nap, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of early. Yeah. The. Yeah, I'll let you go on the uh, call so we can do our outros and such. All right, bro. All right. Talk later. See ya. See ya. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching and sticking around for the super long discussion. I'm going to be having a smaller video out for the, you know, just the 16 minutes of the direct so you guys can go back and watch that if you missed it and all that good stuff. But, yeah, I thought it was, this direct was awesome. I thought pretty much called like all the things i'm so happy that everything's like i wanted it to be and the open world mixed with that classic gameplay of the pokemon you know normal pokemon as well i think this is going to be just an awesome game so thank you guys all for watching i'll see all you awesome people later and what about nintendo bye